Welcome to Moments Girls Talk. So if they make you feel like you're walking on eggshells, occasionally give you this silent treatment, belittle your accomplishments and blame you for their unhappiness, regularly point out your flaws, then you're probably a victim of emotional abuse, which can sometimes be as bad or even worse than physical abuse. Our topic today on Moments Girls Talk is emotional abuse. Welcome ladies to the Hi, show. Hi, how you doing? I like the topic for today and I feel like when people hear emotional abuse, they first think abuse between a man and a woman. But it's actually bigger than that. You have cases of emotional abuse at the office. You have mm. cases of emotional abuse between a parent and a child. Yes. Some things the parents constantly say to their children, i.e. Olo she. You're correcting mm. the child but you constantly use harsh words. Mm. Oh, is you're means, scaring you know, well stupid. for those who are not nigerians oh she means a useless person yeah. 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 and you know people feel like it's a cycle their parents raised them that way so therefore they can raise their children however they want to mm -hmm. so it's a very very broadened topic and i wish that people would not look at it only in relationships mm -hmm. but you work in an office where your boss is talking down at you all the time mm -hmm. it's because you're afraid whenever you see the person i agree yeah. i agree and i think also even you know from carrying on from what you're saying talk even with friends sometimes you might have friends I remember you saying, oh, she ran me. I had a friend who used to be like, oh, day. I'm like, I don't like this kind of talk. You know, you can't talk like this. And the person was like, what do you mean? Da, da, da. And I think sometimes, you know, the first step to even combating it is even knowing what it is and that it exists. Because people who are being emotionally abused, who don't even know they're, they're being they're emotionally, emotionally abused. abused. They're just having, you know, they're just feeling the repercussions. Yeah. I think that's an interesting topic for us, specifically in Nigeria, because, right, in Nigeria, the way we talk, you know, we're very, um, I would say, we're very loose with our words yeah. and you know we we can sometimes be very harsh when mm. we speak to each other yeah. and sometimes you know you joke around with your friend because that's just how we are mm. but there might be a line so the question is how far is too far mm. and that conversation is our topic for today but we're going to be doing that after this break when our guests join us Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk Nigeria. We're joined by our guests now. Our very first guest is Ronke Bamishedun. She is a PR consultant with agency communications, experienced customer lifestyle focus. She specializes in public relations, social media, brand partnership, and relationship building. Also, she's joined by Tim Godfrey. He's a gospel singer, music director, voice instructor, multi-instrumentalist and public speaker. He is the coordinator of the Team Godfrey and the Extreme Crew Gospel Group. Welcome, Welcome to the show guys. Welcome to the Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Tim, yeah. how can I get my own car? <laughs> Tim Godfrey last year gave seven of his band members, how many? Five of them. Five actually. of them cars. Wow. Yes. Wow. Really Very nice generous. Cars. But you know I want what, to work for you, you too. Know, you know, I, I, I'm <laughs> excited you did that. But, you know, I, again, I'm sorry, but I have to say something. I feel like this is a country where if a man does something like that, he's like, wow, he did that. If a woman did that, you're quick to say there's a sugar daddy behind that provided the cars. Mm. So was there a sugar mama? No, but actually people, have, I've had a lot of people also have the negative side of it. They say, okay, why did he give the ladies the better car and did not give the guys Because you gave car? the guys, like, the I, SUV. No, I gave, I gave a lady, uh, yeah, one of the ladies, and then... And one of the girls, I mean, the girls' car, both of the girls that got their cars were better. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying that there's something inside. Mm. It's Can you imagine? Because you, you do a good deed and people are still yeah, looking people for always ask something people say, okay, where did you get the money from? Is he not a gospel artist? Are they not poor? Are they not supposed to be really? poor? People think that? Oh, yes. Wow. That, I mean, they do these things for God. I mean, they are not supposed to be paid. a lot of cars. Well, you know, yeah. So. Uh, it was a nine months plan. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. So, Amazing. but this guy, some of them have been with me for 14 years. Wow. So I thought they deserved to And I think it's so cool because you're you're doing well and it's a spillover everyone yeah. around yeah. Yeah. Which, that's, that's yeah. the you yeah. 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 which is what is missing most of my fellow guys and some even people are people that do other things you know you you're growing only you as leader mm. as when well. every person is suffering i mean somebody blessed me with a car during my birthday and the car i can't say what car it is but I just thought, I can't be driving that kind of car. My guys are biking and all of those things. Wow. So I made up my mind that they have to all drive. Well done. A lot to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Our topic is emotional abuse. Yeah. So I definitely want to hear everyone's thoughts on that sure. and you know, any potential personal stories that you guys would like to share. It's time for a quick break, after which we will be right back. You're watching Moments Girls Talk, and our topic today is emotional abuse. We're joined by Ronke and Tim. So, Tim, being the guy, I'm just going to start <laughs> with you. 
first and just ask you, you know, have you ever had an instance uh, where you or anyone very close to you has suffered any form of emotional abuse? And that can be in the form of, you know, uh, being put down, being belittled. Personally, I experienced it growing up as a child, mm -hmm. as a young guy, because, you know, I'm, I'm from the Igbo part of Nigeria where the moment you're done with primary school, they send you to go and stay with one uncle mm -hmm. and stuff or to mm -hmm. go and learn the market, as they mm -hmm. say, and all of that. But I wanted to go to school. But this guy, if I was not strong, like, okay. I would have been a mess totally because at some point, I didn't even know what suicide was, but I wanted to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah because, yeah, it was really, really bad. What, was, I mean, what were the actions he was I doing? Mean, for instance, I'm not supposed to get out of the house. I'm not supposed to turn on the TV. I'm not supposed to listen to music. I am not supposed to... So sometimes, even to make him happy, he will ask me, do you want to eat? I will say, no, I don't want to eat. Just for him to be cool that day. Mm -hmm. If he pays my school fees, he will beat every bit of the school fees out one by one like i go home to go ask my parents because we we're quite poor so they'll give me small money i come back and i'm sleeping at night he'll come check my pocket remove all the money mm -hmm. and all of those kind of things wow. and you know so it affected me so much that i couldn't relate to people i couldn't go out because if i went to a, some other person's place to go and watch tv and i get back i'm in trouble just everything that i did was oh, just wow. trouble so yeah. mentally speak out about it to your parents never, or to close never. To you know, oh, it's not listening. Listen to me. You explain. Happening. You say they're just he's disciplining. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If I, I ran home like three times to tell my parents I'm not going, well, some uncles would just gather and say, "What is wrong with you? Yeah. You want to become a sports child? You don't mm. want to make." Mm. And this guy is is dealing with me every mm. every day. I wake up. I I don't think about any other thing but to to I can't talk. I can't do anything. Mm. I mean, and, and you know, so sorry, not even cut you short. I feel like living with people. You know, it's a, it's a struggle, you know, oh, it, no matter, yeah. even if this person is, I've had people share stories about their own siblings who they had to go and live with to send them to school mm -hmm. and they were maltreated there. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's in terms of him not speaking out, you know, sometimes you might not even know his emotional abuse because yeah, you almost I feel like know. after what they took me in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I lost my parents at a, at a very young age and I know what it feels like to live with people mm -hmm. and I know what it feels like to be blamed for every single thing. The remote is not working. The Jugunus have done it. The this, you know, and you know, mm -hmm. certain things happened to me growing mm -hmm. up as well that if I, if I wasn't as strong as he said, yeah. you know, Jeez, you know, a lot of people yeah. don't even know this. I remember I would have to, I used to jump buses to go and open shops. Like, people will look at you and think they just know your story yeah. now. And I'm like, yeah, hell no. Course. Like, you know, there's certain things that you've been through in life. And even sometimes people who live with their biological parents as well. Yeah. The father left the mother, yeah. the mother is bitter takes the anger out on the children every day. Mm. Oh, Loshi, you'll never be great. You remind me of your father. Yeah. You know, things yeah, like that. Yeah, Before you know yeah, what's going yeah. on, it's, so it's, a, yeah. it's a huge problem. And a lot of people suffer from it growing up and becoming, I mean, if you come to a place where if I turn on the radio and he will leave the volume at, for instance, seven, you know those old trident radios, mm. and then I'll come just to enjoy music, I'll just increase the volume at 10, he'll just come. I just, I was wondering, How is he a witch? How do you, you just come in. Yeah. So you listen to music again today, like, and this is me naked, he will flog wow. me very well. Mm. One of the times that I I ran, I went back home, I, no, I went to a friend's place, and then the next morning I had not gotten home, he got home and he discovered I was not home, he told my parents that I never came back to the house. So my mom was running the whole of the street that his son is missing, and I got back, and they still forced me to go back. Wow. Yeah, because I mean, as you yeah. said, you came from a background mm. where they felt he was giving you a better life than yeah. they could have. Sometimes you'd be shocked that your mother probably cried behind you, and she knew that if only she, they had, they may have, have yeah, sure, sort of, yeah. you know, but then yeah. look at how you turned out. It's always the case. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you? <laughs> Some people, it just makes them feel better about themselves. So they find some sense of security in putting others down. So you wonder, okay, if by, you know, just making me feel down versus celebrating me or saying, mm -hmm. oh, well done, that was mm -hmm. good. They just make comments that make you feel, actually, this should be a moment for me. I should be celebrating it. Mm -hmm. And it could be family, mm -hmm. you know, it could be family. Mm -hmm. It could just be their own way of maybe seeing somebody in the family that they didn't realize would be, you know, the one who's then succeeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know what's so mm -hmm. weird about what you just said? You know, even at that time, you now look at yourself and think, There's, you're the one who has the better life. You're the one who yes. has all the money. There's nothing to me. Yeah. Why yeah. do you still feel the need to put me I mean, down? I, I, mean yeah. I remember one particular story where, you know, I had this cousin that would constantly just come and, you know, say, where do you get this from? Where do you get that from? You're the one who's been going to London all your life. I probably mm -hmm. had to go to Yaba, bend down boutique mm -hmm. to pick up what I'm wearing. And then you're still looking at it. Like, yes. come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's, and they don't know because, it, and, and I like what she, there's a cycle that, because it happened in certain areas, we pass it on without even knowing. Yes.
Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. We are continuing our conversation about emotional abuse. And Ronka, before the break, you were going to talk a little bit about the cycle of abuse. Yeah, so I was just going to say, like, when I moved to the UK, my parents had me stay with an aunt. Mm. And just as everybody on this table has identified, and it now makes me wonder if it's a cultural thing, you know? Mm. And this is, I lived with her in Hackney before the gentrification, and it was cool. And I was under 16, but she would leave me out in the cold, for example, and I wouldn't be able to get in at like 10 o'clock. She would say stuff like, oh, you're putting a dent in my, in my bed. So she'll move me to go and sleep on the sofa. Bear in mind, I'm under 15. How, how, how much could I possibly weigh? But it was all these comments that, you know, you go to bed and you cry, but you're not able to identify what it is at the time you just think maybe this person is just mean you know those aunties that they're okay with you spending the summer with them but as mm -hmm. as soon as you're with them they just turn you know my mom would always say maybe it's the water in london that people drink it just turns them into these people but now as an adult you look at it and you think was this person trying to use their words you know maybe this person spotted the potential in you and mm -hmm. thought you know what before you That's go anywhere mean. i'm going to break you down yeah. because yeah. i was without my parents i was under 15 you you know, had my parents known what was happening to me, mm. but I couldn't go to them and say, this is what was happening because so hey, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't even want to worry life. them. I didn't mm. want to worry them. Mm. But now I look at it, you know, and I hear stories about people that lived with aunties and uncles, whether in the States, and it's the same it's thing. The it's thing. the same pattern, yeah. you know. Yeah. So now I guess we can call it that mm. and say, this person actually emotionally yeah. abused me. When she just said that, I just remembered, I used, I used to constantly pray like, Lord, if I'm not, because my parents died when I was mm -hmm. eight. And I'll say, if I'm not going to live long, don't let me have kids. Mm. Because I, you know, because yeah, I, I, yeah. I knew you loved your, I mean, come on, like, I don't think, this was not a stranger. These mm -hmm. were not people that were strangers mm -hmm, to me, but mm -hmm. it's just when there's nobody there. There's a dynamic. It's just yeah, a dynamic. Yeah, it's just yeah, like, it's something, yeah. you know, my sister and I were talking about it, and I was saying, what happens, I think, is that, you know, you have this person come into your house, and it's a child, and yes, you care about this child, yes, you know, in your mind, it's your sister, your, your brother's child, but mm. in a way, they almost become like a leech, a leech to you, and you're like, you're eating my food, you're here. You know, it, it, it's human nature. There's something about it where the child becomes a pest, and you begin to take it out on them. Yeah, but I but think that's everybody. I think there's a certain type of person yeah. who's, a bit, yeah. who's a bit wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So so this, wicked is, wicked is, is a strong child. It's a strong because I have an aunt who is absolutely amazing but my cousin cannot stand living with her. And when she tells me the things that my aunt does, I'm like, how? Oh, yeah, yeah, most times Jenna's parents don't like, believe. How? Because mm. this, my aunt is one of the nicest people, but there's a dynamic but when a child, you, when it looked to me, you, you if I lived with her, my aunt would do the same thing. I also believe that in this world, in today's world, men should not let the women do everything. Because I was one day in somebody's house and I was doing the dishes, and man came out and said, over my dead body, I will never touch anything like this. I said, why? There's nothing wrong with it. I actually enjoy doing it. But, I mean, it feels funny. And at some point, I started withdrawing from doing it in public. But the, the ladies sometimes will just come back. And then Sunday evening, we're ready to eat. And he says, you sit down and be gisting. And man, I see the man going to the kitchen to go and prepare food and bring and come on. So there are different ways which, and I've seen those kind of men, when they come to where the ladies are, they don't stop. Because most times when we think about emotional abuse, we always think it happens to women alone. Mm, true. But mm. sometimes it happens to men also. Mm. When a woman probably will stab the man from sex and say, you know what, and then the guy stays and the guy is chilling and the guy is doing all of those things. But is that emotional abuse? It is. It is. Women yeah. also beat men though. Yeah. I mean, I don't know yeah, what I mean. That's the different, yeah. yeah. It's Moments Girls Talk and our topic today is emotional abuse and in a nutshell you guys I feel like what has really you know struck me mm. today is that a lot of people have actually been through emotional abuse especially when yeah. they were younger yeah. Uh, yeah. and a lot yeah. without realizing it till That's later in life I mean I think we, almost all of us mm. shared a story mm. of a time where you know we felt that there had been something like emotional abuse in our yeah. lives I think it's the easiest form of abuse and yes. it's the deepest as well because you don't see physical scars mm. and mm. you know people look at domestic violence and think oh he slapped you beat you you know remember when kids would say things like I rather my parents beat me than the words they 
they use against me yeah. because those yeah. ones would make you feel a certain way forever. Yeah. Mm. Comparing your kids. Yes. Why did you, does she have three heads? Why did mm. little things that sometimes they might this. not even yeah. know? Mm. So I feel like we need to begin to raise this awareness so that we, we do. don't make we the do. same mistakes that our parents made yeah. as well. Yeah. And yeah. even if you are a parent and you had to let your child live with someone because you cannot provide financially, don't turn your blind eye to it because mm. some, of, some people actually grow up and become abusers as yes. well because that's they true. watched it happen to them and they didn't think no, there was I mean, anything but wrong you guys, that's also the reason why I say I'm like sometimes you know when I'm driving and you know someone I don't know shouts at me and says bastard you God punish your father and mother just because maybe I made an error in traffic I sit there and I'm like how can that be your response but imagine mm -hmm. in our society some of us grew up so many of us grew up in that kind of society Post and household down. where people are constantly hurling mm -hmm. insults and insult putting you down people do you understand do like react. our immediate reaction when we're upset is to start shouting and say you stupid mm -hmm. it's your like we're so mm -hmm. aggressive with the words yeah. that we use yeah. like chill yeah. yeah I think it's I hope that a lot people a lot a lot of people will be open it's not to shame anyone or to mm -hmm. make you feel a certain type of way if this is your pattern you can change because to be honest, you're inflicting someone with a wound you cannot see. Mm -hmm. And people grow up, they become reserved, they're besides themselves yeah. because of certain things that have been said to them. Yeah, you know, it's so. wrong. Yeah, definitely. It's, yeah, it's really terrible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's it on today's show. We hope that you've had as much fun as we have putting it together for you. And if you've had one or two experiences, feel free to drop it on all our social media handles. They're scrolling across the screen right now. Join us on the next episode of Moments Ghost Talk. And remember, if you can think it, you can do it.